Hello everyone and welcome back to some daily rapid action on leeches. So yesterday we won a very nice game uh, with the white pieces in the Evans Gambit. So let's see what we get today. Uh, as usual, we're gonna try and play some uh, some good moves, uh, try to explain our thought process, and uh, hope uh, hope we don't uh, do any uh, great mistakes. So our opponent opens with c4 and we're gonna counter it with c5. Uh, I still don't have like a repertoire against the English. Uh, we're playing against I wanna, I wanna sleep, uh, from Canada, uh, and he goes for g3. And okay, we're gonna we're gonna mimic him. Uh, Fianchetto, our dark square bishop as well, and uh, go for some sort of a standard setup. Uh, and it, it all depends whether he will go like maybe e4 or d4, maybe e3 and d4, or maybe maybe d3 and d4. Uh, depending on how he sets up his uh, pawn structure in the center, we're going to also uh, set up our pawn structure accordingly. So for the moment, we're just going to copy him. Uh, and we'll see what it does. Okay, so he goes with the knight. We can also do that, but we can also just advance this knight. Yeah, we're going to castle. And uh, he's still reluctant to show us what he what he's planning to do with the central uh, pawn structure so we'll we'll just wait he's very very secretive about it will it be like a d4 like a, pro probably it will be a d3 e4 if he's uh, if he's looking for some sort of a closed setup oh no he wants to play b4 yeah still not showing me what his plans are uh but okay he can play b4. Not right away, of course. He has to prepare it. So we're going to play bishop to f5, just to ask him what his plans are with the rook. If he will put the pawn on d3. Uh, yeah. And, uh... And, uh... Hmm. Do we want to play a5 here? Is it something that we want to commit to? Does seem like, uh... Does seem like a lot to commit to. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about a5. I don't know about a5. How do we how do we proceed here? Let's go let's go knight here. Sort of sort of stop b4 because the knight here isn't defended. And then we'll decide. And our knight isn't uh, all that impressive here. Okay, so he plays this first. We're gonna we're gonna attack the knight here. He plays h3. We can even trade and uh, get our knights to e5 and d4. So that uh, that that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Okay. So first we're gonna put a knight here. He goes back. And now, although uh, knight e5 uh, is a great square for the knight, he will just attack it with f4. So it's not uh, not the best, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, we can we can do it. Yeah, we can put the knight here and then shift this knight back to c6. Yeah, okay. And now he'll play he'll play b4. No, he he he's uh, uh, improving the position of his king first. Huh. All right. Let's let's figure this out. What's the best way to go about this? Can't decide do I mind b4. Let's go h5. In the future we might have some h4 action if needed. If not, it's uh it's a pretty good setup. Okay, so he go he moves the bishop. We're gonna play rook to b8. Yeah, okay. So he wants to trade on d4, and we might even consider b5 ourselves now. Yeah, b5 ourselves. 
Um, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I spent quite a lot of time uh, approaching this, but uh, yeah, it's not easy playing against these setups where white goes for the early finket of the light score bishop and just does nothing. Uh, very hard to find a, a, a sort of a game plan that, that you can use. But uh, yeah, okay, he's playing it slow, so we have uh, we have a lot of options here. So b5, uh, b4 also not out of the question. b4 is always a move with white. And now we are sort of threatening to open up the b-file a little bit, sort of weaken the center, so he has to find a way to react to this. I don't imagine him playing b3, although he might. And uh, yeah, if we if we are happy with our setup here, it's time to bring the queen and the rooks into the game. So uh, I I do want to play uh, on the on the queen side. I do have my pawns uh, sort of facing this way, and the bishop is here. And if I can get my queen, let's say to a five, maybe get the other rook active as well, uh, should be okay. If he doesn't have any sort of kingside action with something like f five, f five could be could be annoying. Uh, but for the moment, I don't think it's uh, it's that impressive. Like he could play, I could even maybe capture, but n yeah, probably not capturing <laughs> should be the way to go. Yeah, he will trade once first, and now uh, yeah, now I'm thinking I even capture here. Yeah, I'm thinking I even capture here. This does sort of expose my my knight. Uh, but not, not by a lot. Yeah, he will take this first. And now the question is, do I, do I move the knight? Do I capture on b5 or do I take the bishop? So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking rook captures on b5 is the move. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so he goes for this and now we just, uh, we just play pawn to e6, sort of have everything uh, under control here. We do have very nice control over f5. If he advances the pawn to e5, we can advance our pawn to d5. <clears throat> yeah, I was uh, also considering this move, but uh, now we can just play uh, queen to b6. Yeah, b4, of course, nothing wrong with b4. What's the best way to approach this? Yeah, okay, let's uh let's just double up here. Or rather triple up here. Triple up here and we're preparing some a5 action. So probably he moves the queen now. Yeah, it's a really really funny position. Yeah, I do have a double the double the d pawn, but uh, it's uh, nicely defended so I don't mind that. Okay, so she, he shifts the attention to the c6 knight, as he should, uh, but still doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like it's something to worry about. Yeah, probably like a4. He wants to capture, um, which is which is fine. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we can also just play this, yeah. It's not a problem. We're gonna capture back with the knight. And then he does have the passed a pawn. Although it's not uh, it's not not that impressive, really. Okay, we, we should play a little bit faster, but uh, he's also spending a lot of time here. And he does have a wonderful bishop pair here. Uh, but uh, once I once I figure out how to properly set up my knight, uh, I think we're gonna be okay. As we don't have that many weaknesses we have a nice bishop once the knight is figured out we have the the triple battery here on the b file yeah it's uh it's a nice uh, nice position also d5 pawn is nicely defended i like that now it's uh, merely a matter of what to do with the knight and I, I can also infiltrate already but then i'll maybe allow him to infiltrate although yeah i don't know 
I guess we still wait with that. Yeah, maybe something like this. And if plays rook b1, I just uh, fork his rooks. Uh, we trade once here. And we can sort of go into the end game. Uh, although, again, not sure if I'm if I'm up for that. Yeah, some... Okay, so he goes... Uh, he goes in with the rook. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. Um... Yeah, once he plays this, he's going to lock my bishop out of the defense of the pawn. So we also have to worry about that a little bit. We also have to worry about that a little bit. So, hmm. Yeah, let's go here. Sort of, if he, if he does this, I want to have my pawn defended, and then we'll figure out how to how to keep it defended. And if he doesn't do all that much, I might even have some knight to c5 action with an attack on the queen and on the, on the pawn here. But still, I'm not really sure how to follow up on that. Yeah. Okay. So he goes for this uh, as we've uh, as we've expected. Uh, but now we can just uh, we can just make our position more solid here. Yeah, since he goes after that, we'll just play e5 here. Really wanted this pawn to be nicely defended. Like he might play f5 here, but I don't think that's an issue now. Uh, the rooks moved away. Yeah, okay, he could double up here, definitely, uh, but then uh, the, the position in the center is already figured out, uh, shouldn't be, shouldn't be much of a, much of an issue. Yeah, okay, let's go for it, let's go for it. He wants to do it, let's do it. And with his bishops locked in like this, uh, I will have I will have some time to figure out how to how to go about the, the pawn here. Yeah, let's trade here, and we can just trade everything. Yeah, we're gonna take with the rook. And the nice thing is, is that if he captures, no, of course he wants to get his uh, he wants to get his pieces into the game. Um. Yeah, we should also get our king into the game. Definitely. Okay. Let's let's save our pawn from any any troubles that he might run into. And now we're going to go shift the knight here. Maybe I could have done it quicker, but he always has bishop to f1. This pawn will be nicely defended. And he does have the bishop pair, uh, but luckily... Okay, f5. Uh, f5. Yeah, let's go here. If he trades... No, he's not going to trade, of course. <clears throat> let's go after that pawn now. Okay, so he wants to trade everything here, which is fine. Let's go here. Just improve our position as much as possible. Okay, let's go here. We might even have a, a have a little check here in store for him. It doesn't do a lot. 
but we can sort of go after the pawn. Yeah, one pawn is enough. Maybe. Yeah, okay, so he will go after our pawn here, but uh, it will be defended, so it's not an issue. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, this is maybe not the best move. I, I thought I had to defend it with the knight, so... Yeah, that's probably problem. He, of course, wants to fix my, my pawns on, uh, on the light squares. Uh, we're gonna go here. So he can attack them with my bishop. Yeah, okay, so he goes here. Hmm. What about this pawn? What about this pawn? Yeah. Okay, so he goes after the knight. Uh, he, he wants this square. Uh, okay, so now it's a race. Now it's a race. We're going to take here. So to defend our pawn, he's going to attack our knight. No, he just goes uh, to defend. But now, okay, we have check and we just push the pawn and we win. So... It was a it was a good game, but uh, somehow the knight here prevailed. But it was a, I mean, okay, now it's an open position, but it was a fairly closed one. Okay, so now let's just not blunder any checks. I don't think he has any. Like uh, he can play this. Okay, I don't buy that for a second. Uh, not gonna work. Yeah. Okay, so he wants this check, uh, which is something that we have to prevent. <sighs> yeah, that's not a bad move. Not a bad move at all. Uh, but okay. I mean, I don't think we have a, a way of stopping that. If I go here, he'll just go here. So I have to do it. Oh, no, it comes with check. Wow. Yeah, he, he tricked me into, <laughs> into believing that he has a check and he could give up his bishop. Wow, so silly. So silly of me. Uh, but yeah, I think it was uh, perhaps not the greatest one, but uh, yeah, let's let's see what we could have done better. So C4, like I said, I don't have some sort of a system against the English. I just play it like I would against uh, maybe uh, the, the hyper accelerated dragon. So th th I, I use that um, uh, pieces for my setup. And uh, then it really all depends on what he does with the E pawn and the, the D pawn uh, where I will be able to, to fight for the center or we're going to, you know, go around like we did in this game. So I played knight f6. Uh, yeah, he, he really waited with those pawns. He played rook b1. Yeah, sort of d5 is the way to go. And while I know this from from like uh, principled, uh, you know, general chess knowledge, uh, I don't know, I figured that uh, since he's playing this whole setup with, with uh, pressure on, uh, on my b file, uh, I thought maybe... Yeah, d6 was the way to go. I played bishop to f5. He played d3. I played knight d7. He played e5. Okay, bishop g4. Here we traded once and I played knight to d4. So now sort of a 0 0 position. I played knight e5. So maybe something better here. Yeah, knight e5. It's even the most common move played here. f4. I played knight to c6. Uh, he played king h2. I played h5. Yeah, sort of a5. Yeah, the move that I was. Uh, uh, so so much avoiding to play, uh, obviously, is the way to go. I played h5, and he still waited with b4. And now I play rook b1 <laughs> again. b4 should be played. Yeah, but it's like the entire game, I was uh, reluctant to stop b4, and he was reluctant to play it, when it was always the best move. But yeah, sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes it happens. So I played b5. Again, b4 here, the move that we discussed, captures, captures. Yeah, sort of capturing with the bishop is the way to go, but I thought this would be a bit more impressive. He played uh, captures, I played rook captures, and he played bishop back here. <clears throat> okay, I played pawn to e6, he played queen to a4, queen to b6, uh, and finally b4. And as you can see, still uh, in equal position, 0-0. Zero, zero. <clears throat> I tripled up here, he played rook c1. I played a5, yeah, those are all very nice moves. Uh, and now after rook c2, knight b3. Uh, yeah, I did consider this move. I did consider this move, but I thought, nah, I always play something like that, and then it just turns into a long-term weakness. Uh, yeah, e5, sort of knight to c5 right away, a little bit better. But I thought uh, trading everything would uh, uh, would uh, serve my purpose. Uh, 
And now, okay, knight c5 blunders the game for some reason. I, I have to capture here. Knight c5, why does it blunder the game? Oh, <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit embarrassing. Why did we both miss that? Yeah, if he, if he captures here, he, he just takes a full rook. Wow. He has to take with the queen. Wow, that's super impressive. And then uh, he's just up a full rook, yeah. Wow, that's uh, that's really sad. He went for rook captures, and now, yeah, he, he trusted me that this was this was best, and now it's again 0-0. Zero, zero. Played king f8, and now it's, uh, it's an endgame that I'm pretty sure we played pretty much uh, to a draw. Uh, but then at some point I was able to um, to grab the full point. <clears throat> yeah, okay, g4. Captures, captures. I went for the pawn here. Uh, not the best, sort of g5 here. Uh, sort of just, just to trap my bishop. And then if I go here, like, pawn to f6. No, bishop to f3, okay. Oh, yeah, so I'm sort of ru running out of moves here. Uh, but yeah, he played bishop to f3, and now bishop to h6 check uh, allows this. Yeah, but uh, I played this first, and it's a draw. It's better to play king to c2. Yeah, so it's a, it's, it's a matter of uh, leaving, leaving, leaving him out of moves before he leaves me out of moves, but I was afraid that uh, here I might just give him a, a super strong pass pawn, but obviously c4 is faster. Yeah, capture send uh, bishop here. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the job done. Yeah, there, there, there you have it. A nice misplay, a couple of misplays already. Uh, yeah, here, just captures and now, okay, now it's winning. Yeah, knight here, pawn goes here, and now we just advance the pawn. Uh, sorry, I went into, went into a wrong line. Here I defended the pawn when, in fact, yeah, knight a6. I said that, uh, <laughs> I did say that, yeah, it was a, a bit silly to um, uh, overprotect the c, the, the d6 pawn. Uh, but I, I, I completely forgot that the bishop was also defending it. Uh, we have g6, okay, king here. Still, still a draw. Uh, and now after, yeah, he attacked my knight. Now it's winning for me. Knight to c5, captures, captures, and now the pass pawn uh, will decide the game as it should have uh, in the previous lines. Yeah. Did I mess up anything else? Yeah, he plays this, d2. Yeah, and he even tricked me here in, uh, at the end. I, I completely forgot that this comes with check because he played this so quickly. I thought, yeah, okay, he <laughs> nice find. Uh, but yeah, after this, uh, it, it's just a forced checkmate. Uh, so yeah, very interesting stuff. And um, as usual, uh, you know, I make these uh, videos uh, wh where I play sort of to give you an example of, uh, of the thought process that goes on and how I, how I decide on uh, which move I play. Sometimes I will blunder terribly, like in this game, like I, I left a whole rook hanging here. Uh, it was a pretty bad maneuver, even though up until this point everything was perfectly fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, wh wh what's the idea? Like, yeah, captures, captures, and bishop to h6. That's the, that's the way to defend. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Uh, but here, I, I just played knight to c5. Yeah, and he could have just uh, grabbed a full rook. But sometimes, you know, I trust my opponent. Sometimes my opponents trust me. And, you know, uh, one day you teach your opponent a lesson. The next day, he, he, he gives you one. Uh, but, yeah, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, uh, nicely done by me. What are you going to do? Uh, uh, you know, th thank you for I, I want to uh, uh, sleep uh, for, for uh, contributing by playing this game. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.